This project is a four inch pipe tee. To make this project, we're going to start with the center section of our fitting with the 90 degree transition, which we can use a sweep to create. And to this, we will add the coupling flanges on each of the openings. I've started a new part studio, and this is in inches. I'll start a sketch on the top sketch plane and I'll draw the circle that will represent the outside diameter of the center section which has a diameter of 3.5 inches. I'll accept this sketch and I'm going to extrude this as a solid for a height of 5 inches above that uh, sketch plane. Now I need to create a sweep and to do this I need the arc that the sweep will follow. So I'm going to change my view to a section view and use this right plane for my section and accept this. Now I will start a new sketch on this right plane and I'm going to draw a construction line. This is going to help me find the center of the sweep. Now I want to be vertical to the origin. I'm going to start my line and come across this way. Now for dimensions, I want this line to be exactly a quarter of an inch, 0.25, above the origin. And I want the length to be the radius of this arc, which is going to be 2.75. So now this end point of the line will become the center point of my arc. So I'm going to use a center point arc. It's going to, the center point will be the end of the line. One end of the arc will be at this other end of my construction line. And the, this end will be vertical to the center. So I have this sketch done. That will be the sweep of my transition. Now I need the size of the pipe, so I'm going to go to isometric, swing this around, and I need a new plane to draw this circle on. So I'm going to say that I want a plane, and at this point I want a plane point. This allows me to choose a point, and then choose a plane that I wanted this to be parallel to. So again, I'm going to choose uh, this front plane and that creates a new plane out here perpendicular to my sweep. I'm going to accept that work plan. Notice it shows up here in my feature list. Now I'm going to draw another sketch on this plane and I need a center point circle. I'm not going to snap it to anything yet. I'm just going to draw it on this plane and this also is going to be 3.5 inches in diameter. And I'm going to use a pierce constraint. And I want to make sure that the center point of this circle pierces the end point of my arc. And I can see that it's fully defined there. So with this, I will accept this sketch. Next, I'll choose sweep from my feature tools. We're going to add to our existing feature. And for the profile, we'll use the circle. And now for our sweep path, we will choose this arc that we created earlier. And I can see that I've created this transition. So I'll accept this. I'm going to turn the section view off so that I can see the full transition. And this looks correct. With this done, I'll, I'll now add the flanges that go on each end. I'm going to start a new sketch. I'll go to this top surface and view normal to the sketch plane. Now each of these is going to have a 4 inch outside diameter flange that I'm going to add on here. 4 inch is the diameter. And I'll accept that. And 
I'm going to extrude it as a solid because later we're going to add, we'll shell the whole thing. In this case, it's two inches high, and this adds that flange. I have to do the same thing on each surface. Now, one of the things that I can do is I can choose each of the sketch planes and wake up that circle so I have the center. I can come over here and it was sketch 4 that I was using. I can just copy the sketch and paste the sketch. That gives me that same circle that I had before. I accept that then make that coincident to the center point. And that's a quick way to get the same sketch and reuse it. So I'll accept that and again extrude extrude this whole thing as a solid for two inches and accept that. And I'll do the same thing at the bottom. The next step would be to hollow this out leaving the eighth inch of material. To do that I'm going to use a shell feature. I'm going to set the shell thickness for 0.125 which is an eighth of an inch, and then faces to remove. I'm going to remove this face, this face, and the bottom. And I can look inside and see that that is going to leave our eighth of an inch of material. I'm going to accept that. And now if I want to look inside to see what this actually looks like, I'm going to use a section view. And I already had chosen the right section plane. And so we can look inside and see that we have uniformly left an eighth of an inch of material all through the inside. Now there are some chamfers on these inside edges that I need to add. I'm going to use my chamfer tool and set the distance at 0 0.0625, which is a sixteenth of an inch. And so we want these to go along this inside edge to add these chamfers. And on these outside, the interior edge of each of the flanges. Make it a little bit easier to fit these together. And we'll accept that, and I can see that those chamfers have been created. Now there is a fillet, so we're going to choose our fillet and set it for eighth of an inch or 0.125. This fillet is going to go on the outside. It'll go on these transitions between the flange and the body. And it will go on this transition right here. So we'll accept all of those. I'm going to turn the section view off so I can see what my finished part looks like with those transitions and the interior We'll turn the planes off and my part is done.